so hi guys welcome back so here is the first, second lab video on college guard vulnerability management tool so today in the last video we have created an account and we have navigated through the options which are present on the vulnerable management console today we will add few of the assets and we will see how to initiate a scan from the tool okay so let's get started so basically adding the IP assets to your account will be available in three methods so first method is using the host IP address second method is using the host DNS address third method is host net by host name okay and there is another method along with this which is using the qualis id using the qualis host id okay and qualis host id is used by default whenever you have the cloud agent on the host assets okay and it is the host id will be unique for each and every host and is always available to scan the host okay suppose you don't have any agent on your machine on your host and you have a qualis card cloud agent installed whenever there is no agent installed then qualis cloud agent will be having the unique id and it will be scanning available for the scanning of your particular host okay so in this tutorial we will see tracking methods using both unique and also the persistent way for each host okay now let's get started now first thing is we need to add the assets of course for in, for any scanning you need the assets right so first what we do is we go to our tab called assets so now under this the assets tab we did not add any host so we cannot create any group first thing is we need to add host so go to host assets Now if you see there are no hosts added so for that thing what we do is we go to new and we now if you go to new we have three options if you can see here IP tracked hosts DNS tracked hosts and net by host tracked hosts so for now I'll go with the DNS tracked host okay you can ask me uh, what is the use of these different types of tracking systems okay so generally whenever the hosts are linux based machines then we go for dns tag machines because tracking through the dns track tracking tracking using the dns maintains a consistent and accurate vulnerable history okay suppose all the hosts might not be the same might not be having the same ip because uh, whenever we are in organizations there will be a dhcp list right so uh, for every certain time the IP will be changing so we cannot be relied on IP track hosting so rather than that we go for DNS track host which gives us or which tracks the host by its DNS name so for that case I am considering the DNS tracked host now to add the Linux based host ok now let's see here I will click on the DNS tracked host now it is giving me another window okay now what it is showing ips purchase 15 ips in subscription so whatever ips you are purchasing that things now we need to enter the ips here i will enter the ips so she has given this range of ips from 243 to 245 three ips and along with that i given another ip 250 okay so these are the IPs I have given here, I have considered here for scanning. Okay, and all these four IPs are only for DNS tracking. Now you can go to the add button and you can add these IPs. See here it is saying the following IPs will be added. Click apply to add new IPs to your account. It is saying. Okay, now if you see here 
you can apply button you can click the apply button here it will you can see here it is showing this okay now here what it is showing is 64 41 20 50 250 it is what a dns id okay it is showing it as a dns id right now this is the my range of ip after this now i can now i want to go and add even uh, windows based machines as well okay so how does how can i add the windows based machines linux based machines i added using the dns then of course when it comes to the windows netbios will be the correct option or good option for us to do so now again i'll go to the host ip is and i'll add those i'll add those ips same i did like earlier okay i have see you can, I can see here 64 41 246 to 64 41 249 that means 6 7 8 9 i have 4 ips 4 hours i have given i'm saying it to add and then apply now i think even this should be reflected here yes see hosts have been successfully updated now you can see here 43 44 45 i have given for linux based machines and 46 47 48 49 i have given for windows machines so entire range is 64 41 200 243 to 64 41 200 250 these are the entire range of IPs I have given. That means eight different hosts. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, eight different hosts. And also you have uh, you have seen that 50 IP was the DNS last time it was showing, right? So now we need to launch an initial scan. How do you launch the initial scan? Now for that, if you can see that there is a drop down here. We have three options here. Quick actions edit and launch scan you can set up the information regarding this scan by clicking on the quick actions or edit on the quick on the uh, or edit and launch scan so i'm taking the edit tab now if you can see here if you want any thing to be done or anything to be edited here you can go here and you can save it you can change it okay now I'll go to this and I'll say launch scan. Now launching this scan will give me another window. Okay. So you can see here what it is showing. Give you a scan a name. Give you a scan a name title. Okay. So I'll say it is a initial vulnerability scan okay and let all these things be the default let that be initial properties only and now we are not setting any priority as well and if you can see here there is a term called scanner appliance not available this scanner appliance not available is not for the internal scanner whenever there is if we, if we have any external scanner appliance it will be used by default that means actually if you consider an organization with a dng and an external cloud so whenever if you have deployed any external scanner on the cloud and you want to go through scanning the dmz as dmz is also having the public ip external ISCanner scanner does scan the public ips of your internal network which is which are the natted ones okay so if you want to allow it you need to create a rule on firewall so that external scanner which is on the cloud of college guard will be allowed inside to your network and to scan all the dms okay and this type and we have internal scanners as well because we our organization generally is dependent is, is divided into lands 
okay if you want to scan a particular particular land you use the internal scanner okay so that is what is that and after that you can check it is already taken directly from that that ip range is taken directly and after that we have the asset groups you leave it as it is for now then after go to the go to launch directly you can also select send notification if you want notifications will be sent to your mail okay or i don't want to do that now i'll directly select launch now it is actually the scan has started see now what it is showing scan status is queued that means it is started and now i think we can close this tab and go back to our main tab and now here i will go to the scan scans tab okay where the tab scans will be if you see here beside the dashboard go to the scan okay and you click on the scans here and here you sh it should be there yeah see our our title name is initial vulnerability scan and the scan is started it is the state it is showing as q okay now to monitor the progress of the scan you can also click on that and you check now it has from the queue it has moved to running state right so this is the way we initiate a scan on particular hosts okay guys so this is it for this video and in the next video we will see how to customize the knowledge base and search list okay thank you for this keep watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos Thank you.